The course is designed to bring the very best scientists and engineers as undergraduates onto a course where they're trained about the fundamentals of nuclear science and engineering and at the same time they're taught to work as part of a multidisciplinary team specifically for problem solving for the nuclear industry. This course will be appealing predominantly to physicists and engineers but because of its general nature it should be appealing to all of the sciences really and this is the catchment that we're trying to get. Bristol has an extremely well recognised international reputation for physics and for science research and engineering in general. We have a long-standing track record of nuclear research over the last 25 years and in 2013 we were ranked by the UK government as the best university for nuclear research in the UK. The core structure of the MSc involves five taught lecture units and those will comprise lectures on nuclear reactor engineering and nuclear reactor physics. So this is how you build and design a reactor and then how you operate the reactor. Then there are two other core units, one on the nuclear fuel cycles and then we look at nuclear materials behaviour, how materials behave in terms of the structural properties that you're using for the integrity of the nuclear reactor all the way through to the fuel itself. And there'll be a lecture course on the fundamentals of nuclear fission, fusion and radioactivity. We're really, really fortunate that we have a multi-million pound array of analytical equipment specifically for looking at materials and nuclear materials. In engineering, we have a number of leading facilities that the students can use. For example, the shaking table. We do experiments on it of a quarter mock-up of a nuclear power plant core in there to study what happens if an earthquake hits the power plant. We have creep lab, we have residual stress measurement lab, we have fatigue and fracture, and we have corrosion lab. We're very interested in developing device technologies to measure radiation in an environment, and we then have to develop a platform to deliver the device into the right place. So we were assigned a, re a research project by Tom Scott, uh, working with Sellafield to produce a device which is able to map radiation levels in a pipe at Sellafield. The device is a pipe crawler. It had to be small enough to fit inside these pipes at Sellafield. It had to have a spectrometer to measure radiation levels and it also needs to have a location system so it knows where it is within these pipes. By working very closely with the nuclear companies, they're very, very keen to recruit the best possible graduates. And so there's very good opportunities for onwards employment by studying with us on the nuclear masters. It's nice to have that sort of additional drive that you can see that you're giving back to industry and you're actually working on projects that they are, they are interested in and they need to find the answers for. Not only do you get the experience of academia and what it might be like to progress along the academic route, but also you get such good close contact with industry. So it gives you the opportunity to see what it might be like to go down both of those career paths and you can make a more informed decision of what's the best route for you. It's a range of skills that we're interested in, from apprenticeships right through to high-end skills in technical, engineering and scientific subjects. It's this combination of academic excellence and industrial focus which really helps to drive the innovation that we need to support the future of the civil nuclear industry. The students will be very lucky. They'll be housed in their very own nuclear research building alongside academics, alongside PhD students in the heart of the city, which is a very green city, formerly the European green capital. The students really couldn't wish for any more in terms of their surroundings, but also the quality of teaching and the resources available.